Hey, how's it going? Welcome to my room. I recently moved into this apartment and I've been decorating one of the walls, but the rest of my walls are looking pretty bare. So I wanted to decorate them. So I went to the dollar store and bought a picture frame and some matches. And I had the idea of customizing the picture frame with matches that have already been burnt. My knife is literally so dull, doesn't even cut through the plastic. Gotta love it. I originally thought of this idea because I've been burning a lot of matches in order to light candles. I thought they just looked really cool and I just didn't want to waste them. So I was able to use some of my old burnt matches as well for this project. But right now I'm lining up the matches to see which way I want to glue them down. I really like this alternating design. So I chose that one. So one by one I started to blow out the matches but literally taking so long. So I started to go and light two at a time. And that created a really big flame. And I should have not done this big bunch because I almost burned off my eyelashes. So I took them all outside and clamped them down with this pair of pliers and lit the whole box at a time, which was also pretty sketchy. I wouldn't recommend it. Anyway, here we are. Got my super glue and started gluing them on one by one. Now this process looks tedious, but it was actually super fun. And I kind of thought it was therapeutic at times as well. This super glue that I bought is super glue gel, which is more forgiving than normal super glue. I was able to place the matches down and then readjust them because the glue didn't dry so fast, which was really nice. And I was pumped on how this picture frame was turning out, but I wanted to do some more in the corners. Here I am figuring out what I want to do. I kind of felt like some of the matches were going to fall off still even with all that glue. So I just dabbed up the backside. That way they all at least stick together. And that's how I was looking so far. I was pretty satisfied and maybe I took it too far at this point, but I wanted to put just a couple more in the corners to tie everything in. So I traced out the angle that I wanted and I couldn't find any scissors anywhere, so I used my fingernail clippers, and that worked perfectly, actually. So I cut out eight of those and glued them down, like this. And that's how it looked. I was really happy with that. I went back to the dollar store and bought two more picture frames so I could make a gallery wall. I used that technique I did on the last one and cut some angles with my clippers and glued down and I touched it up with some black paint. Now this third one is the biggest one I bought. I wanted to find a design that would work with the other two. So I decided on this, I call it a woven pattern. It was looking really sweet, I think. And snippy snip. I decided to put one more layer of matches on the first one as well. So I got these Reader Digest magazines. 
and I started flipping through it to find any cool pictures that I could put in these frames. But I didn't really find anything and besides this creepy doll. And I'm pretty sure that's Kramer from Seinfeld. But in the end, I just ended up printing off my own artwork. And I printed off in two color schemes. One is this pink, purple, and yellow. And the other one I incorporated more black to match the frame. But I didn't like how this one turned out. So I went with the original. Put those in the frames with the glass. And then I started to trace right here the frames onto paper. Next I'm cutting out the tracings I made. And what this is going to do is allow me to tape the pieces of paper onto the wall. And I'll be able to use these pieces of paper to figure out what layout I want on the wall so I don't have to blindly attach the frames. So here I am trying to figure out the best layout and there we go. Super pumped on how these looked. Really fun project. I'm sure I'll do it again. Highly recommend it.